complete week and Memorial Weekend, fashion is as traditional as the holiday. All of a sudden, white appears in the city, and uh, this year the women are wearing the straw fedora hats. Now, 50 or 70 years ago, it was all men. Memorial After Memorial Day, you put away the winter hat and you wore a straw hat. It's the same ingredients in fashion, but you just turn it all upside down and mix it up and you've got something new. You've got the women wearing what the men used to wear and the men wearing what the women used to wear. And it's terrific. It's really, you know, it's marvelous. You go along and you see them, the men all going to business in their white shirts, but then come along a younger generation and forget the tie and the shirt is worn outside the trousers, just like the women do. It's the same thing. It's, it's wonderful to see it all mixed up. And uh, for those who don't like chalk white, uh, women are into neutral sandy colors, uh, maybe a light, well really all just sand or ivory or eggshell. And whether the, it's just a white shirt and a black skirt, as you see women wearing to lunch, or uh, the full skirts women wear to the office. But more often, they're wearing the narrow, thin, drain uh, pipe trousers or leggings which are like a stem, and then the white becomes the flower. So it, 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 it's just wonderful. It's, it's so predictable, you know. It's not about something new. What is new about it is how you mix it up and wear it. But uh, Memorial Weekend is really the cutoff time for spring clothes due to the heat. It's as simple as that. And it was a very, at one time, a very rigid rule. It's no longer a rigid rule. So have fun with it. Wear whatever you want, as long as it's white. Talk to you next week. Cheers.